excited? Yeah. Okay, good luck. I'm ready. In three, two, one, go! <laughs> the Hopkinton Lions Club chose two lucky raffle winners that won four minutes to run around Price Chopper and grab just about whatever groceries they can get their hands on. It was exciting. It was fun for a great cause, though. The proceeds from the raffle went to benefit Project Just Because, Mass Eye Research, among other numerous local causes. Well, the main intent of the, uh, the grocery dash was to try to uh, raise funds for the Hopkinton Lions Club and support uh, some of the you know, numerous charities we support in town and within Massachusetts. So for example, uh, Project Just Because is one of the um, entities that we love to support. Uh, Cheryl Ann Lambert Walsh, she's been wonderful. Uh, so some of the proceeds go to that, any money we raise to the Hopkins Lions. Uh, also, one of the uh, uh, main, the main mission of uh, the Lions Club is to prevent blindness. Um, so we'll also be donating any proceeds uh, to Mass Lions Eye Research. Um, but then also any other money that we raise through this event or others we just had a lobster raffle or anything uh, we donate to library to the local the respite center um, you know fuel assistance uh, if someone in town needs some eyeglasses we'll try to support them that way too uh, so the main mission was to basically raise funds but also have fun doing it too it was kind of a fun project for the club, going out and trying to sell tickets and advertising it. And the other thing is, you know, kind of bring the community together to let know that the Lions Club is around. We're always looking for new members. And uh, so it was to raise money, but also have fun doing it. So that was basically the mission. Eric from Ashland was one of the lucky winners that got to collect some free groceries. Uh, I think almost 700. I think this gentleman is <laughs> going to be well above that. Good for him. He had a good strategy. Jim Ryan was also one of the winners, and he collected groceries for a teacher at the Hopkinton Learning Center, Melody Ring, who was battling pancreatic cancer. Uh, it was today. great. I uh, grew up watching the show, so uh, when uh, my aunt uh, won and offered me the chance to run for her, uh, I was uh, ecstatic. Were you satisfied with yeah. the amount of groceries you got? Definitely, definitely. I missed one aisle that was on the plan, but um, besides that, uh, very happy. All of it's, um, or 99% of it's being donated to uh, someone at the Learning Center of Hoppington, um, uh, part of the family there who's um, ill, and um, uh, so it's going to be going towards her and uh, to help take care of her. That's why I spent so much time in the frozen food aisle trying to get uh, meals for her. A few weeks ago, the Learning Center hosted a bake sale to raise funds to help the longtime Hopkinton Learning Center teacher. The grocery dash was a lot of fun for all and benefited several great causes. I, I really appreciate all the people that you know took a chance and uh, you know and bought a ticket. Um, so yeah, it went well. Uh, we were able to sell some tickets at Poly Arts. The, you know the, uh, the summer band concerts on Sundays. Uh, other people so yeah it was it was fun so it, you know we raised some money and had fun doing it. Bill mentioned that the Hopkinton Lions Club works very closely with Price Chopper management to plan this event. Uh, surgery that's why he's not too talkative today oh, yeah. Yeah. Stuff. but anyway he was a, he's a pleasure to work with and uh, yeah this is a wonderful event thank you so thank much you, and thank uh, you, thank you. Yeah. and then the profits will go to some great uh, Charitable causes. One of our beneficiary in town is the uh, project just because the food bank and the wonderful things they do. Also with the Lions, one of our priorities is uh, you know preventing blindness, so we'll donate some to Mass Lions Eye Research, and then a lot of other charities in town: the Respite House, uh, the Post Prom, uh, the Library, whatever we can donate to. Uh, you know, we we'll we love to support the community and also uh, you know the Lions, things like Mass Lions Eye Research. But thanks everybody for coming. Thank you very much. Thank you.